Potter's Journal, uh, New Direction, August 2017. I may be doing some sculpture again, but we're going to start here with first some mugs. Um, I've got a board done, but I decided um, I need two more. This is one and three eighths pounds. Um, yeah, I have difficulty with small pieces, but this is just the perfect size um, that I feel comfortable with. Centering, wedging, throwing. Um, I didn't expect in a million years to be throwing in the summer. But, uh, with a nursery and greenhouse, it's usually something, a winter activity. A few things. First, uh, my apprentice, my niece, with the um, henna patterns. I did a series for her to decorate. And then I knew I'd be working with my historic village, um, Southside Historic Village in southern Beaver County. And I knew I would do the week there. Um, that was. Uh, yeah, quite productive this year with a hundred pieces made and demonstrating and talking to people at the same time. It was fun to use the bread oven at the village, um, the pie, and the video clip. I uh, was worried it wasn't going to work out, but um, it was the best pie ever. Uh, maybe due to working on crust for a number of years, I finally worked out my style and the oven. Uh, for a little more formal oven clip, uh, Jimmy Mechanic is the, um, the village's official videographer, and um, he's got a whole series of nice pieces on the village. And I was just set to um, think about examining, uh, which I've already, always done to begin with, a series of uh, pots based on historic designs. When leaving the farmer's market on Saturday, uh, another artist approached me real quick and said, do you have any musical pieces? Uh, her theme for uh, Swickley Gallery Walk September is uh, around the music festival. And then in a quick passing, without any time to think, she said, text me. Um, I'll be in Italy for the next two weeks. So I yelled over, um, I don't even have a cell phone, so I can't text you, but I'm um, doing a whole series of pots based on a piece of, uh, some sculpture I did in the past. Or I mean a whole series, of, a small series of sculpture, yeah. And first some pots. So this is, uh, yeah, taking me departure from the historic direction. Uh, I'm going to put... Uh, Yeah, I don't know why we're doing two more, maybe just to fill the board. Okay, so this might be all for nothing. Not knowing exactly what she's doing. And if it's suited for her show. 
but if nothing else, we will have the mugs and a few new, a few new pieces of sculpture. based on yeah so musical instruments uh, sacks of clarophones some such thing um, should somebody not come around with an unlimited budget and uh, wanting a large piece of sculpture more suited to outdoors I'm going to try to put a similar um, design side of the pot. nicer than uh, like it was working about three quarters a pound to uh, one pound with the mugs last winter um, this form and shape is uh, a little more natural to the throwing process that it just seems to flow a bit and emerge out of the clay compared to the pieces last winter that I kind of forced into um, a shape and form that actually felt very comfortable in the hand that was uh, kind of forced into a form. And sponges, yeah, look at that. I need some sponges. I'd like to try, I haven't used an elephant ear sponge in years. Greek fishing village in Tarpon Springs, Florida um, early this winter and pick up some uh, natural sponges. And my tools are still down at the village, so I'm making do what's around. This wire has a few kinks in it that I'm trying to avoid. Okay, so we got that board apart. Um, yeah, compared to what I'd done years ago when doing a production line, and everything having to look all the same, this is nice because the uh, variation a little bit of variation from piece to piece. I'm actually trying to encourage. Okay, so the next step in this process is the horns. Um, yeah, a little musical. Um, kind of, ah, oh, thanks to um, the idea of uh, Janice the Potter who put the little medallion things on the side of her pieces. Yeah, I'm Janice the Potter. Hello from Florida. Okay, so I do the top part of the horn, put a few bends in it, and the part where the music comes out. There, an opening with a metal or a wooden tool. Line that out a bit more. 
And one, two, three pokes. And then, let's see. Most of these were... Uh, these were done last night, except for that one. And, um... And it's still very wet. But I think it's probably best to attach them while very wet. Okay, smooth the bottom. Yeah, all my tools are down the village. I had to use a new slip bucket, a new um, everything. I'm not having a backup set. Okay, I'm just since the, the consistency of the clay and uh, and the the semi dry pot is very similar. I am just slipping this. I'm not scoring it. pushing it on. And we'll see how this works. There may be some uh, cracking or separation in the firing. But I'm hoping it'll be okay. And then we'll get that uh, opening again. And another one of those, yeah, old bad sponges. Okay, I'm going to go around the outside. So, this is still very wet, so I'm going to let this dry and, um, upside down before I put the handles on. And where did this get started? Um, we didn't, uh, haven't looked at or talked about my sculpture, but um, I've got, uh, we saw my niece uh, takes some very dried out, uh, old dried out pieces of uh, chimney pipe or sewer pipe. She pounded them into dust. But, um, let's see. Here, we've got um, a couple pieces that are still usable. Uh, covered with plastic to keep them damp. Um, when extruded, it's still it's too stiff to work with. So I'm going to take a piece of flannel and see, put it in a bucket of water and squeeze out most of the water so it's just barely dripping. Okay, flannel, and then the the water drips down through the this, so I will squeeze a little extra out of the bottom. Otherwise, I'll get a puddle at the bottom of the piece, which will cause it to be too wet at the bottom and maybe topple over. Um, this was always a feature of what I do in the studio in the summer when I was exclusively working on summer. Okay, and I want to make sure this cloth has good contact with the piece, the clay, so that it'll soak in. And then an uh, old dry cleaning bag. Okay, and we'll let that slowly saturate um, until it softens, but not enough so that it'll topple over. 
and then we'll um yeah get on to working on these pieces um now what started the show when i told uh, zoe that i could here's the rest of those little horn medallions to go on the side of the pots and the first one on okay yeah where was i when i told zoe um, I could do this. Let's see what uh, we, we can find out in the uh, yard. That I could do this. I was thinking about an old piece that's uh, not really displayed well, but a uh, horn. well up over my head so I couldn't see if we had any focus there or not. Okay, so I don't know that Zoe's got a market for a piece like this at her gallery in Swickley, west of Pittsburgh, but if not, we'll work on a couple table size or indoor pieces of sculpture and some mugs for their jazz and fall gallery walk. All right, stop back and see if I can do this. <laughs> 